Alright, okay, let's go for this example. Uh, it's an example for parametric differentiation. So given that the parametric equation, so x is 3 tangent theta and y equals to 4 second theta. So as you know that this is a parametric equation as x and y is related by theta, the angle here. So theta in this case will be your parameter. Right? Uh, theta is the third variable. Okay, so then we have to know that how to differentiate. Uh, dy dx so dy dx as you know we have to differentiate by using chain rule right uh, dy dx right dy dx as the parameter is theta so we have d theta d theta right so this is the first formula so for second order uh, second derivative we will apply the chain rule again so it means that the d d theta right d d theta multiply with d theta dx uh, if this is y and this is will be y, right? Uh, so if this is d d d two d x two, so which is actually d d x, uh, so d y d x, right? D d x y. That's why d d theta y, d d x d y d x. So this one we will have d y d x. So okay, this is the two formula that I'm going to use in. Solving this, uh, uh, finding the differentiation of this parametric equation here. So, okay, I start with differentiating dx d theta. dx d theta, we have 3 second square. As you know, that differentiate tangent, right, will be second square. So, differentiate 4 second theta with respect to theta. So, it will be 4 differentiate second will be second tangent theta, right? Uh, so you must remember the formula of differentiation of trigonometry. Differentiate tangent, second square. Differentiate second, second tangent, right? So later, I find for dy dx, dy dx is dy d theta multiply with d theta dx. Uh, so dy d theta, so you have four second theta tangent theta, right? Uh, 4 second theta, tangent theta, dy d theta. So theta dx, d theta over dx. This is dx over d theta. So it will be 1 over with 3 second square theta, which is second, right? Uh, second theta to the power of 2. So we can simplify by uh, doing this. So which is 4, right? 4 times with 1 so we have 4 tangent theta right 4 tangent theta times with 1 and down here we have 3 second theta right uh, we have 3 second theta because uh, here you have still have remaining 1 second theta so you have 3 second theta so but never mind as I know that tangent theta mm, tangent theta multiply with uh, second theta, I know that also, uh, all the three go ratio, right? Second theta is uh, 1 over second theta. Okay, as you know that cos theta, cos theta is 1 over second theta, right? Uh, 1 over second theta, you are getting cos theta, right? Or second theta is 1 over cos. So now, this is 1 over second theta. 1 over second theta, you are getting cos theta, right? You are getting cos theta. So if you further simplify, if you can simplify, we try to simplify. Because 4 over 3 as tangent theta is sine theta over with cos theta. Right? Tangent theta is sine theta over cos theta. Multiply with cos theta. So you can see that these two you can omit. Then you have 4 over 3 sine theta. Right? So from here, I know that my dy dx is 4 over 3 sine theta, right? Uh, so if you see the process, I apply the chain rule here. I'm finding the dx d theta, I'm finding the dy d theta. So I apply dy dx is dy dx d theta d theta, right? So dy d theta, I differentiate from here, 4 second theta tangent theta, I plug in. So, and I find dx d theta, 3 second square theta. So, because they need d theta dx, 
right? So this one I need to terbalikkan, right? So d theta dx, so you have 1 over 3 second square theta. So the second theta and the second square theta, you have one more. You have second theta down there and the three second theta. Up there, you have four tangent theta. So as you bring the second theta go up, you get, you're getting cos theta. And tangent is sine over cos, right? So you're getting four over three sine theta. So, okay, let's see how to finding the second order, right? Uh, let's continue finding the second derivative, okay? Uh, so second derivative, you will apply d2y dx2, again, the chain rule. We have d d theta, right? d d theta, dy dx, right? dy dx, multiply with d theta dx, right? So, you know the dy dx, your dy dx is 4 over 3 sine theta, right? 4 over 3 sine theta. So, as you differentiate this, right? Uh, d d theta, you differentiate 4 over 3 sine theta. So, you know that differentiate, this is a constant, differentiate sine theta, you are getting cos theta, right? Uh, cos theta. So, d theta dx is the same as uh, this one, dx d theta is 3 seconds square over 1. So d theta dx will be 1 over 1 over 3 seconds square theta. Right? Uh, 1 over 3 seconds square theta. So as you know that 4 over 3 cos theta times with 1 over 3. Uh, 1 over second square. 1 over second square is actually cos square. Right? As you bring up this thing, uh, you know that cos square is 1 over second square. So then finally, you have 4 over, right? Uh, as the 3 multiplied with the 3, you will have 9, 4 over 9. 4 over 9, cos and cos square theta. So you will have cos cube theta. So then finally, your answer for d2y dx2 will be 4 over 9 cos cube theta. Right? As easy as this. So I will do more video for parametric differentiation.